This tutorial will show you how to automate uh, plugins, but also other features in Reason. For instance, I'm going to take the filter, which is kind of like a plugin on Dr. Rex. It's actually part of the Dr. Rex loop maker, but um, you could treat it as a plugin. So the way to do this is uh, first thing to do is just have a little play with it to see what you're going to do. So I'm going to take it from bar five and just have a look, play. I'm probably going to filter it from sort of low frequencies up to high frequencies. Um, now to do that and automate it, what I need to do is go down to the sequencing window here and find Dr. Rex. So I wind down to there, click on this, then find the automation drop down menu. Click on that, then I want to do filter frequency because that's what I was looking at. It's exactly the same. It says filter and underneath frequency. So that's how you know what you're choosing. Then you need to draw in a box in the lane that says filter frequency. Then double click on that box. And I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Then it's as easy as before. We just draw in the frequency you want from low to high. So as you can see for these four bars the frequency gets louder. I could also do the something else. Let's try automating the, the res thing here. So again, make sure I'm on Dr. Rex, drop down menu, fil filter res, then draw in the box there, double click on this box, and I'm going to do it the other way. So it goes down from low to high, we'll see what that does. Press play, as you can see here they're both automated because they've both gone green. I'm just going to turn the automation off on the mixing disc so you can hear that work a bit better. So that's very easy to do. I just go up to the mixing disc on which channel, find out which channel it is, then right click, clear automation. So this time we can hear it with the automation by itself. There you go. And that's how to automate other bits on Reason. You can do this in any other Reason instrument you have. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to automate the panning on, say, the hi-hat here, or uh, maybe I wanted to do it on a snare on the panning, all I'd need to do is go down to where this says beat, and on automation I drop down drum 2 and drum 2 pan which I'd need to find for more parameters uh, drum 2 pan there you go just to give you an idea and when it gets to the drum 2 which is about here I think it is double click on that I could automate the pan it would just do that specific dial as you can see it's already lit up green so when it goes so that's how to automate plugins and also specific values within virtual instruments on reason